Good morning. Okay, let's go see what we got. He's still alive, buddy. Hello. Good morning. You're still warm. That's good. Other babies trying. Can't quite figure it out. Here's a new baby. I think I got some over here. Oh, no, it's yours. It wandered. Okay, let's go move you. That's a big whammy. Stop stealing. Go away. Okay, I'm gonna move them. What do we got here? Did you have a dead baby? Mommy, what did you do? Yeah, doesn't look too good. You're still a good mom. I'm sorry. I moved that you up from the back and got her in a pen. I checked her for another one and she did have one. She seems to be a really good mom, full of milk. They're really tiny, so she's either had it early or there's maybe more in her. I only reached so far and then I felt like I just don't want to reach any further. I don't want to do any damage. I'll let her progress, keep my eye on her. She might be done, like she looks pretty hot, hollowed out now. So that's been it for lambs. So 5 a.m. I seem to, they're all wet. So that seems to be the magic time this go around for whatever reason and that's doable for me i get up around 4 30 and have a coffee and come out good morning <coughs> this cold has got to end the lambs that i just moved up and put in the claiming pens i've had two i've had a tube already because they got so cold that little one is not going to make it and the other one i got like 150 mils into it with the tube but it's got that death rattle and it was up standing with its mom and all I did was train a few babies on the on the milk machine for like it was maybe 15 minutes it's so frustrating I guess you can't take for granted that just because that they're up and kind of looking good that they're gonna take the nipple because sometimes this cold just gets them instantly mom is not licking them off so that does not help but anyway that's all i can do for now i'm gonna run in and have breakfast and a coffee and watch them on my nest cameras but i don't have a lot of hopes for those two lambs just ugh. i did start my day trying to be positive but <laughs> reality is a way of kicking my ass Just finished feeding up and one had a little one. A very, 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 very little one. I'm gonna move her quick, put her in the lambing jug, check her for milk, and maybe check her for another lamb. Because if the lambs are really small, typically they have more than two. I went to grab her and she popped out another one, so there's two there. I'm gonna check her for another one and check her milk. Okay, 
This is good. So sometimes the problem with having the cameras, I was doing chores across the road. I saw this mama pop four lambs and I couldn't get over here fast enough and she didn't lick the water sack off that lamb. So four has become three. It's just a shame, it was a nice sized lamb. Unless it was dead, but I doubt it. Okay, mama, let's get you moved. So I just did the math and it's so far, we're at 2.59 lambs per ewe. There's only 70 that have lambed and there should be around 200 or 195, something like that. Oh my God, we're not even gonna have to close done. I just finished tagging the ones that were born today because tomorrow I have a board meeting and Luke is coming. I set up a bunch of claiming pens and I put all the ones that I tagged yesterday, they are all freed up and running in their pens now. So everything is good to go. There's one lambing right now. We haven't missed much. And then I had to pick up Jess from school because she had her last driver's ed, which means now she goes for her driver's license. Here's the little one. So that one is itty bitty, but it was up and drinking out of mom. This one I haven't seen drinking from mom, but I've fed it like three bottles today. So it just might not be hungry enough yet. It's kind of dumb too. Really small little spaghetti legs. And this one I have to mark and let go. She had four stillborns. Just starting. Problem with being away for a little bit, just picking up Jess and coming home, which was all of half an hour. I don't know when she started. So I might run her down and put her in the pen and do an internal just to make sure nothing's wrong. She could be just starting labor. Oh, we got another stringer. Right. Can't see, but right there. So we got two lambing. It's because it's supper time and I'm starving. Okay, because I saw her actively push, and I thought I saw something that maybe looked like a tail, I might just move her up there and check because I don't want to leave her and have her try to push out a backwards lamb. I'm gonna get lube. Oh. I'm gonna put lube in with a syringe. That was a really big pull. Lube, I tell ya. Magic. Girl. Spent a little time tonight just getting everything prepared for Luke tomorrow. I actually sorted out the bottle baby pen. I'll show you that in a sec. I just wanted to show you the babies that you saw me kind of deliver. That's the one I pulled. And this was another big pull, so they did good. 
and she's got milk. So that is what happened tonight. There's nothing else pending that I can see. I think I'm blessed with a little reprieve, which I get really stressed out when I have to leave for the day, even just for a day, which is ridiculous. But it's really hard when you're the kind of the lead person the whole time and stuff changes so drastically day after day. I have Luke a couple days through the week and I have Carissa on Saturdays, but the problem is it's really hard for me to not still come out in the morning and get everything ready for them because they have no idea what's been going on for the three or four or five days before they got here. I know which ones need a bottle first thing. I know which pen had a weak one, and for me to type it in my phone as a text to them, it's hard. Looking forward to the board meeting, but I do stress out about being away. The cameras are nice because I can walk anybody through stuff for the most part. I think everything is caprice. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.